British Prime Minister Theresa May has called for an early election on June 8th, saying she needs to strengthen her hand in divorce talks with the European Union by shoring up support for her Brexit plan. UATV has more. British Prime Minister Theresa May has sent shockwaves through the political world by calling for an early general election. The move is seen as a way to give the Prime Minister more leverage in upcoming exit negotiations with the European Union. Prime Minister May previously said she wouldn't call an early election, saying the UK needed stability to deal with the issues it is facing. However, she said she was reluctantly calling one because it was necessary to ensure the strong and stable leadership the country needs to see us through Brexit. I have just chaired a meeting of the Cabinet where we agreed that the government should call a general election to be held on the 8th of June. I want to explain the reasons for that decision, what will happen next, and the choice facing the British people when you come to vote in this election. May, who was appointed Prime Minister after the country voted in favour of Brexit in June last year, enjoys a large lead in the opinion polls, with 50% saying she would be the best Prime Minister. However, she must first win support of two-thirds of the parliament for her to call for an early election. The main opposition Labour Party has said it is ready for a new election. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn welcomed the snap election, saying voters would be able to judge the government's failed economic agenda, which had left the National Health Service and schools underfunded, and that Labour would put a case for a society, economy and a Brexit plan that was fair and worked for all. I welcome the opportunity for us to put the case to the people of Britain to stand up against this government and its failed economic agenda, which has left our NHS in problems, which has left our schools underfunded, which has left so many people uncertain. We want to put a case out there for the people of Britain of a society that cares for all, an economy that works for all, and a Brexit that works for all. The UK is on course to leave the EU by March 2019, after a two-year negotiating window with the EU.